task and they are going to read okay so they are performing first they are writing and then in the next phase they are reading from the same memory location in order to uh, verify the memory this is the basic concept uh, how to verify a memory if you need to verify a memory just you have to read uh, write in some location and after that you read that location then in that way you can verify a memory okay so this is a task that will verify a memory so in this way you can verify the memories okay so you can see here in uh, here you can use directed testing also and uh, constrained random testing also so here we have we can randomize our transaction so this is the module generator is a module where you can randomize the transaction also so we have to use the full power of very log uh, system where log here okay so this is a uh, transaction generator module so how we have seen that how uh, how to pass a full object as an argument to the driver class okay first create a transaction first create a transaction then assign some value and then call the um, task available in the driver module and just pass the whole object and your code will work so this is the way how we they did okay now coming to after uh, this module now we are going to see something on monitors what monitor is there okay so you see here uh, a class memory input monitor okay so what all the things are there memory base object i told you uh, before that i have shown you one base class where address data and read or write signals is are uh, mentioned okay so from that i am creating one object mem underscore object okay then i am using mem scoreboard sb okay scoreboard is a class uh, which uh, which i will show you in later where how we have implemented scoreboard class and you are creating one object for that now you are creating virtual ports okay virtual ports means you are uh, uh, at run time you will decide which driver to connect to which port okay now you are calling a new function and you are passing um, you are using memory scoreboard you are creating one object and uh, for port also you are creating one object and you are assigning those object to some known value okay now we'll see the important thing what is the input monitor task will do whenever while is so this uh, statement will execute always okay because while one means it is always true so it will wait for passage of clock okay so whenever chip enable is one and read write is one because this is input monitor right so in one side it will so input monitor in one side it will talk to the physical interface of the duty right and on the other side it will talk with the scoreboard okay so these are the signals pertaining to DUT side okay read write these things and after that you are creating one object and after that you are displaying that you are going to write okay this thing then what you are doing after that memory object address and port dot address okay so what you are doing whatever address it is coming from uh, uh, port you are taking that thing in a memory object address and similarly memory object data you are uh, taking from the port data whatever data is coming you are taking that thing in this memory object data okay you see memory object is a base class and after that what you are doing you are creating you are passing that full memory object as a input argument to the post input task that is available in the scoreboard module okay now it is a time to show you the scoreboard module i will show you you see this scoreboard module so what we are doing we are calling one post input task right so post input uh, task should be there here somewhere this post input output task ah, post input task okay so you are passing the whole object what you have created here see you have created one object and you have passed that full object as an argument to this post input task okay now you have, uh, so you can see that how your you have passed and after that you whatever object is there that you are uh, taking that thing in some uh, memory okay uh, memory so memory object you can see here it is a dynamic okay so uh, it is a uh, memory for this uh, array is defined at runtime okay allocated at runtime so you are assigning that object to this uh, memory okay now you see task post output uh, and uh, what they are doing after that they are checking whether uh, address is equal to null or not and if it is not they are performing some operation scoreboarding okay what is expected and what is that uh, got they are comparing that thing fine so this is how your scoreboard module will work 
so you are passing this thing to that uh, scoreboard module okay now you see the output monitor which where we have used it. Uh, so this output monitor is same as so output monitor in one side it will talk to the physical signals of the DUT and on the other side it will talk to the scoreboard okay we need a base class in order to create a transaction from the output what we got and pass it to the higher layer so here we are doing this statement is always right so what we are doing we are uh, making chip enable one and uh, equal to zero if it is then we are creating